Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sepharex and today I'm going to be taking a look at Valve's unusual skyboxes. Quick update, I made a pop filter for my microphone because last video you might have heard um, some of the P's that I spoke were absolutely way too goddamn loud. So I made, <laughs> I made a pop filter out of literal garbage. The actual filter is an old suck and it's taped to my shitty $2 microphone with tape. The structure itself is just old cardboard. So, yeah, you, you know, nice quality, quality content right here. Not to know that the show you're watching is literally created by literal garbage. But it does sound way better. Listen to this. Potato pie. Potato pie. Sounds way better, doesn't it? Yeah, well, anyway, it's it might be incredibly cheap and shit, but it's all my brokers can afford, so... Uh, let's get right into the video. Let me first explain to you what skyboxes actually are. A skybox is usually a sky texture that is projected to look quite big. It's usually a house sphere, but sometimes can also be a box. The thing that separates Valve's skybox technique from the other game developers is that they include full-on 3D models such as hills or houses to also be projected and made to appear to be bigger, such as the tower I'm flying to right now. You can see that the model of the tower is just out of view for the player, and the really big tower that you see in the actual game is just this model but projected and to be made bigger. It's literally the same model but it's just blown up in the level actually used in the game. If I were to put in an Alex model on top of these buildings over here, you can see that Alex has now became a giant. This is because Alex is projected to be made bigger like a skybox, together with the buildings. We can also see this technique in other Valve games, such as Portal 2 or Gmod. Also, something interesting is, whenever you see anyone, any character whatsoever speaking in a Valve game, They'll have to exist in real time. For some reason, they don't use pre-recorded videos like that. It's actually quite strange if you think about it, because it would be way easier, at least I think it would be way easier, to just use a pre-recorded animation instead of playing one live. Here you can see me placing a clock behind Bree, and you can see that on the screen, later on, it's really there. So it exists in real time. It's really cool because any character you see will exist in real time. And yet again, we see these techniques being reused in other games. I'm just using Portal 2 for example. I like that game. So these were the brief examples of some Valve skybox techniques. I couldn't really find anything about how or why Valve uses these techniques because they seem pretty unnecessary but of course I don't have any knowledge about game development let me know what you guys think about this video and if I should do more of whatever this was and please give me suggestions because I do not know what to make this was a pretty random idea just popped into my head it doesn't have any goal it's just I don't even know what it is it's just something I noticed while exploring some Valve games I'd gladly take a suggestion for exploring a game but I really want to make my own content and not just copy it from Shezes. So I'm looking for some original ideas and I'll keep thinking but if any of you have any good ideas feel very free to submit them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.